Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about the SQL full join or full outer join. Both are same thing. You can either use the keyword full join or full outer join. Now what full join or full outer join will do is as you can see in this diagram here, it will first fetch all the common records between both the tables. Okay, which is the intersection part of these two tables in the Venn diagram you can see and then it will return me everything from the left side and the right side so basically first the intersection the common data between both tables that will be returned which is basically the join of the tables or the inner join of the table and then any remaining data on the left hand side of the table and any remaining data on the right hand side of the table when we say full join it will fetch me common remaining data on the left hand side of the table or a left hand side of the keyword full join and remaining data to the right hand side of the keyword full join right so whichever tables you are using then it will fetch all of those records that are remaining in both the tables that are to the left hand side of full join or to the right hand side of the full join now my sql does not support full join or full outer join so we need to work with the workaround right now in terms of keyword or in terms of the command it's very simple we just need to replace inner join with full outer join or full join right so we can say select whatever fields from table and then full join or full outer join connect on the table on a specific key right so let's go and understand how we are going to replicate full join in mysql all right so here this was the right join or right outer join that we saw now if i have to do full join right so the only change we have to do in our command now because i'm using mysql it will throw an error but usually the only change you have to do is you just have to replace the join inner join or left right uh, left right join with the full join either say full join or you'll say full outer join right now because mysql doesn't support this it is giving me an error in this particular case okay so how we can achieve full join in this case so what we can do is we can simply get the left join and get the right join and union both of those right when we say union we are basically combining the results of both the queries right so the workaround will be i'll say left join okay so what this left join will do is it will get me the common for the data common data across customer and order table right and then anything that is remaining in the left hand side table of this keyword so what is the is in the left hand side the left hand side table is the orders right so it will get me all of that now we can do the right join right so in this case i can do right join so right join will basically get me the common data between both tables and then any remaining data which is in the right hand side of this right join keyword so what is in the right hand side of this keyword it is the customer table so any remaining data in the customer right and then we can union both of these and that will basically get me all sort of data or all the common data first thing in both tables and then the remaining data on the left side okay because we have given the left join so remaining data on the left table and remaining data on the right in the right table which is customer right so left join will get me remaining data which is there in the orders table because orders is in the left hand side of this left join and right join will get me the remaining data of the customer table because customer is in the right hand side of this keyword right join and then we'll simply say union all right now when we use union we simply have to remove this semicolon there because now this is the end of this statement right so we are doing first we are doing the left join on both the tables then we are doing the right join to get any remaining record in the right hand side of this right join keyword table and then we are doing the union okay so if i run this it will return me the full join or full outer join results as you will get in the other databases wherever it is supported right so you will see first 
records are the inner join which have been written and then we had done the left join right so in this case what was the table that was left to the left join keyword the order so order data has been written right whatever was remaining and then we did the right join what is the table that is to the right of this right join keyword is the customer table right so when we say right and left it is against this keyword what is right so against this keyword is customer uh, the right is customer against this keyword the left is orders right so this has returned me the details that were remaining in the customer table and then we did union and that has returned me the full data or full union of both of these results so this is what you will get with the full join in other databases wherever full join or full outer join is supported but in mysql this is the workaround for the full join or full outer join that you can use i wanted to explain the concept of full join that is important in terms of workaround and how you are going to use it is pretty simple you will definitely be able to find the solution about mysql using the union and wherever it is supported you don't need to worry about right so if i open this page here so full join you will see the full part so the first the intersection the common part then anything remaining in the left hand side table will be returned and anything remaining to the right hand side of the table will be returned okay so that is what full join or full outer join both are same will do for you i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching